Me and a buddy in our Toyota Supras were, were involved in a high speed, guns drawn police chase. These Supras are like fucking undercover, you know, and y'all are like, you know, pacing. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get a fucking ticket. <laughs> guys welcome back to the channel so something that just happened to me like you know yesterday me and a buddy in our toyota supras were, were involved in a high speed guns drawn police chase wild crazy event never happened to me before in my life it's just mind-blowing so i'm gonna try to relive that a little bit on video today uh and just uh tell you my adventure this is another one for the books this is one that uh, i will remember for a long time before we actually get started i'm gonna leave names, locations, and uh, certain details out of it for the sake of maybe any potential, you know, ongoing investigation, you know, for the, with the police. But I want to share as much detail as I can, if possible. Let's get started. Yeah, yesterday I was coming home from church. Praise God. My buddy sent me a text. He's like, hey, bro, you want to go gun shopping? About an hour away. I can't say the location. I was like, yeah, cool, man. I haven't been, you know, in a gun store in forever. So I was like, let me go home, eat some lunch, and then I can pick you up or we can, you know, get the cars together and roll out in two different cars, which is what we decided to do. You know, you don't get to see Toyota Supers on the road that much, let alone two of them, you know, on the freeway or whatever, uh, you know, side by side in tandem. So I thought that'd be kind of cool to get the cars out. So we did. Or like just on the highway. He's leading and I'm following. He He's got everything in GPS and I'm just going along for the ride. Oh, buddy, okay, big old truck. We're actually doing speed limit, believe it or not. Behind me, I see this, it's not really old, but a newer-ish Honda CRV, like silver in color or whatever. And he's, you know, dipping throughout traffic. He's driving erratically at everything. So he comes up behind me and I'm like behind, well, I'm in a convoy, right? Behind my buddy. So pretty close to my buddy's back bumper because I don't want anybody to break traffic. We're trying to like, you know, get through it as much as possible. Anyway, so this guy gets up beside me, decides that he wants to cut me off and he barely squeezed in between us. So I'm all over the brakes and, you know, I thought that that was obviously pretty rude. You know, I held the pride in a little bit for just for a second. And I was like, you know what, as soon as I can, as soon as I'm safely able, I'm gonna get behind my buddy again. So that's what I did. Well, I guess this guy thought that, I don't know. I thought that, you know, an adequate space, me sliding in was brake checking or being aggressive or whatever. So this dude slams on his brake. It's a 70 mile an hour speed limit on the, on the highway up here, okay, right? Anyway, he slows down to probably like 30 mile an hour and like holds up all traffic behind him in his lane. And I'm just watching this, this go down in my rearview mirror like, what is this dude doing? So then he decides to haul butt and pass me. I thought that he was gonna retaliate or come brake check me or do something crazy, you know, and attack me in some way in my car and all that, but he didn't. So he gets up side by side with my buddy's black super right in front of me. So he sees right lane and we're in the left, right? And hang on. Love this car. He gets up beside my buddy and they kind of slow up a little bit. And then from what I can see is my buddy had hit the brakes really hard. When I, when he did that, I had to slam the brakes. The people behind me, like a maroon car, had like duck out of the way into the other lane. Luckily there's nobody there, so. And then the guy is speeding up in traffic. So what happened was, my buddy called me on CarPlay. He lost his phone in the car somewhere, I guess when he had to hit the brakes, because what happened was the guy pulled up a black bag or whatever and pulled a gun and pointed out the window. So the driver of this Honda CRV, just describing the vehicle and what he was wearing is probably, I don't even know how old, because he had a freaking uh, coronavirus mask on with his window down flying through traffic. I thought that was ridiculous. It, that's the way he looked when he came past me. He had the window down, he had the mask on, like that's saving him from something. It blows my mind that people are doing that. But anyway, I digress. So my buddy calls me and he says, dude, call the police. I can't find my phone. I've just dialed you on the freaking whatever. His nerves are a wreck. And he's like, call the police. This dude just pulled a firearm on me. And it's like, okay, roger that. So call the police and I'm talking to the dispatch lady. Uh, the officer, right? Given, I'm given a description, given my name, details, all this information, whatever they wanted. I was completely comp compliant, feeding them as much information as possible. You know, where we were at, 
gave them up to date mile marker updates and uh, we just continued from there and they kept us in pursuit which is the interesting thing they didn't just like have us back off or whatever they didn't feel comfortable getting close enough to read a license plate but we wanted to keep tabs on this guy because he's being erratic through traffic even at the point where he passed and had waved a gun at my buddy he was continuing to drive you know in excess of 100 mile an hour or so I know this because we had to kind of with the permission of the police officers uh keep up with this car doing well in excessive speed limit and traffic at this point has seen what's been going on and they're com completely backed off but it was getting out of the way at this point and i guess it looked like a street race but we were really uh just trying to keep tabs on the vehicle so i'm on the phone with the police department the whole time feeding them information this goes on for a little while okay a lot of sporadic driving a lot of high-speed driving and then i see two look to me like unmarked black suvs lights flashing coming to left lane in a hurry behind me and i'm like yes finally they're here you know they were able to find us and track us down so the officer on the line is like just continuous updated information um on on the car like what do i see do i still see it as can i still maintain PID of this car and I'm like yes it's right there so unfortunately there was an older one of like a similar color that was right in the right lane as well go figure right so they pull over the wrong car I think it was an old lady anyway so they these two cars <laughs> pull over this lady they get out guns are out they're screaming and yelling and we're stopped behind them because they have all traffic blocked off right I'm telling the lady on the phone you got the wrong car you got the wrong car and they're like oh crap you know so I guess beside her was another guy with a radio and is feeding direct information to the officers, right? Anyway, so my buddy pulls up in his black Supra and he's yelling at the, at the, uh, the officer, you got the wrong car. So they jump back in, they let this, this lady go, whoever it was, probably scared to death, and you know take off for the other car. Then I'm following the other one. At this point, my buddy in his black Supra is kind of given distance. I kind of without asking permission, was like, hey, I'm gonna follow, I'm going to pace your police officer's cars so we can keep tabs, just let them know. Because at this point, when I looked down, we were 111 mile an hour and climbing. Probably ended up going 130 mile an hour, chasing this guy down. But it was the coolest thing, and I know it's scary for my buddy, having a gun drawn on him. But for me, watching us all go down, I wasn't scared. I was ready to rock and roll, let's go. The officers were like, cool, you wanna ride with this? You wanna speed and track this guy down? Let's go. And there's no traffic anywhere at this point. And we're hauling butt to try to to try to try get this guy. And I thought it was pretty cool because I felt like a little bit of, I kind of felt like it was a bad boys moment. You know what I mean? Like I'm old Mike Lowry and his exotic, you know, pores chasing down these bad guys in tandem with these cops. Go, 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 Mike! Push that shit, Mike! Go, move! Oh, oh, they are not about to do that. I thought it was legit. Anyway, so we finally get up behind this guy's car. They're radioing back and forth and Spatch is asking me, is this a car? Is this a car, right? And I'm like, yes. And she's like, you're 100%. I'm like, I'm 100%. That's the car. There's the dude in his mask, you know, with his window down and all this. By the way, let me backtrack a little bit, which is kind of weird, but it'll paint the canvas a little bit later on when this is brought up again. During that, that high-speed chase, okay, there was a moment where we flew, well, we flew, when we drove through a whole lot of debris. And I didn't think anything of it at the time until it was brought up later. But it was almost like bits of paper. I don't know what it was. It could have been money. It could have been just straight up paper. It could have been, I don't know, trash. It was raining from the sky. It was everywhere, all over the road. And we were going through it. It was crazy. It was like it was just sitting still in the air, just floating. We were just zipping through it, right? Pretty surreal. That'll be uh, important later on. So anyway, they pull over this car. I pull in behind the officers. And then my buddy is in the other lane. So we've got left all the way to the right lane, like a three or four lane or whatever it is, blocked off completely. We've all got hazards on. The police are jumping out of their cars, going up to the, the, this guy's car with their guns out. The guy's got his, his hands out of the window. They're screaming and yelling. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy, dude. You know, after just doing that high speed run to now seeing this, like what's gonna happen? One of the officers comes up and she's like, hey, you're good. And so I'm like, okay, 
we got to go. So we left them and we left them and they did what they did. So, so we still had to get to the gun shop, right? And so about an hour later, we get there and all these twists and turns, it was just this place out and who knows where. And uh, anyway, so then there's this lady that comes up and me and you know my buddy, we pull side by side naturally in our Supras, right? Which is just totally like legit and cool, you know? And uh, this lady comes up and she's like pointing at us and she's like, you, you guys, you guys, and we're like, what? She's like, I saw that whole thing. And we're like, really? You know, like that was like an hour ago in a crazy location on the highway. Like that wasn't anywhere close to where we are now. Pulling into the house. So anyway, what happened was she thought that we were like, she, she, her mind was blown. And she thought that we were like undercover cops or something in Toyota Supers, which was kind of neat to hear. And uh, my buddy was able to roll his camera, I guess, in his pocket and get some of that, which we'll play. I mean, honestly, I thought you guys were undercover. I mean, I, I, was, I was like- I felt like it. I was like, these supers are like undercover, you know, and y'all are like, you know, pacing. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get a ticket because I see, I see these lights and I'm like, I can't get another ticket again. I just mine small world that we ran into each other you know you witnessed the whole thing and we were part of it she thought it was it made her day she was she was blown away by this and we were just like still kind of shaking at uh, what had just happened you know earlier because uh it was just just wild um but yeah very eventful anyway so about the paper stuff so we go into the gun store right and then I get a call from, you know, the, the officer and he was asking for more information and he was asking me if I saw the gun. I was like, I saw a commotion, but the gun didn't get pointed at me. It got pointed at my buddy. So I'm going to pass the phone off to you. And they were talking about, and they were, they were bringing up, I could hear some of it. And, um, buddy replying about stuff floating in the air. Right. And so what happened was that they, when they arrested the guy, they didn't find any firearms or anything bad on him right naturally anyway what they did was they referred back to the dash camps and guess what it was all recorded so what we drove through was all the stuff that the guy was dumping out of his windows and he was getting rid of stuff so, so he probably threw the gun out and whatever else and all the papers and everything else don't know what any of that stuff was could have been freaking drugs could have been money could have been who knows what could have been old speeding tickets could have been just you know wendy's uh trash or mcdonald's but anyway the point is that was dude was um after the, the police officers pulled over the first car mistakenly um same you know model and everything just different year it was even the same similar color uh, the guy just took off, you know, he just sped away. He actually passed an exit. I don't know why he didn't take that exit to get off and like evade the police. But anyway, it was definitely felony speeding, evading, you know, and, and a bunch of other stuff that they probably got him on. Um, but it was crazy to be actually be like in tandem in a police chase at, you know, triple speed, we well, not triple speed, level, but you know, well in excess of a hundred mile an hour with the police officers with basically their permission. It was kind of cool, you know, cause I'm just an old, you know, retired army guy and uh, civilian. So kind of neat, I'm not law enforcement, but it was kind of cool to be able to take part in that little bad boys action. Pretty crazy story. Thought that I would, uh, you know, kind of tell you all about it. And I know this is a lengthy video, but it's a story time. This is storytelling. And this is a real event that just took place yesterday. So I'm kind of venting if you will, but I guess the moral of this story is watch out for crazy people on the road. That's kind of common knowledge and sense. But anyway, a wild event nonetheless. But hey, you're here watching the YouTube channel. And if you made it this far into this, this video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. Let's please the YouTube algorithm because pretty crazy story. You know, if you want to be part of this adventure and super modding or Mustang modding or whatever else we do on this channel, it's a car channel, consider subscribing. You made it this far. And by the way, subscribing is free. But you got to hit that notification bell on too. So every time we post a video, you get alerted. But I will see you guys in the next video. Will we have more adventure telling like this? I don't know. Hopefully not this intense because it was wild. But luckily nobody got hurt. Uh, you know, all was good to go. And uh, the bad guys were, you know, obviously locked up. So anyway, I'll see you guys next video. God bless all of you. Goodbye.